y'all taking care of yourself, taking care of y'all hair, skin, and nails. Um, I hope you guys are meditating and going within. I just want to come to you guys today and talk about um, the black hair. How it looks like a tree. How it coils and points up to the sun. How it is a unique feature of ours. Uh, have you guys ever looked at a tree or a bush or a shrub or anything? And looked at the afro on a black person's head? And it kind of resembles. Have you noticed that we have the only hair in the world that grows straight up towards the sun? Our hair needs sun too. Our hair has melanin in it as well. Our hair grows as a spiral out of our out of our scalp because of the shape of our hair follicle. The colonizers has taken everything from us except our natural hair. But don't get me wrong, because in the professional world, they tell us that our hair is unprofessional. The way we wear it is unprofessional. If we want to wear it puffy or in an afro or this way or dreadlocks, that is unprofessional. But we got to start embracing our hair and embracing and embracing our culture even more because they're trying to strip away everything. Our hair grows as a spiral like the universe all the energy in the universe go goes as a spiral it lets us know that we're connected to this earth and y'all we have melanin in our hair this melanin in our hair helps us absorb the energy to be able to sense things like pick up on our sixth sense like the intuition feeling you get uh, that feeling you get when you know somebody's not right when you know somebody's lying when you know something in your environment could be dangerous your your skin and your hair helps give you that so when you cut off your hair it kind of disrupts the flow between you and this universe, you and this earth. When you cut your hair off, it disrupts the flow. So when you when you really look at it, why would they why would they make it seem as something so unique as the black hair is something so bad just like our skin color you will forever be a target because of those two things forever because they try to make us seem like everything about us is just bad and evil and you know not for the good when it's not us at all we actually carry a lot of power within our body, within our skin as black people. And they know that. Same goes for men when you got hair and when you got um when you got beards, when you keep your beard clean and trim, your beard grows coily. Same thing applies. It's a part of you. It's a part of the earth. You are one with the universe. So, for the women that's out there perming their hair and, you know, putting putting weave in, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, I love the fact that our black women can be, you know, just so, just so beautiful and we got so much style and we, we can, we can basically pull off anything. So just because we wearing a weave, don't don't get me wrong. We still beautiful with or without it. All I'm saying is, when you put in the hair of somebody else, you have the chance or the opportunity to open up yourself to energies that the person whose hair it was was carrying. This is just how powerful the energy on this planet is and how it connects to us as people. 
I don't know if you ever heard about that, but like I said, do your own research. Because at the end of the day, if you wear on weave, it's not your hair. It did not come from you. So you do have you do have the chance to pick up negative or unwanted energies of others whose hair it was. And I think social media and like I said, this uh, professional world of the colonizers has really is really pushing us away from our culture and our natural selves, making us feel like that our hair is not good enough when we literally have the best hair. Our hair provides protection outside that they don't get. Their hair grows straight down and it, and it and it's not made it's not made to take the sun like we can. We got so much we got <laughs> We are so connected to the sun and plants, it's ridiculous. Y'all got to start doing your research on how powerful we are as people. Because just the hair from our scalp is powerful. This is our crown. That's why you take care of your hair. That's why you grease your hair and wash your hair. You keep your hair brushed. People get mad because, oh, I got shrinkage, I got shrinkage, but that's, bro. Research the power of the black hair because I did, and I'm satisfied. I no longer look at my hair as being nappy or as it's not good enough because it's not fine and straight. Because to me, that's the hardest hair to deal with. And I feel great to know that, it, that I can style my hair in different types of ways. And it still looks beautiful. And it's coily and beautiful and shiny and healthy. I take pride in my hair. And, I, and, I, and I've done my research. And I want y'all to go out and do y'all research. Because we got a lot of things about us that we should be proud about. And they're constantly taking things away from us and making us feel like we're not about nothing. We're not important. And we should be less than others. That's not the case at all. <laughs> we are so powerful as a people. And we the only ones that don't know. From the crown on the top. <laughs> from your crown to the bottom of your feet. Everything about you is magnificent and unique. You just got to do your research. I'm doing my research slowly and finding out about us. And I'm loving everything I find out. Because we have been oppressed for years and made seem like we're bad people. And everything about us is ugly. And that's not the case at all. Because if it was, everybody would be dipping and dabbing into a little bit of our culture. Everybody wouldn't be doing dances like we do and trying to style their hair like we do and trying to talk like us and try to, come on, y'all. We powerful out here. We are powerful. We are the chosen ones. We are the ones that are connected to this earth in and out. They are our sons. Our black men take pride in y'all's hair. Take pride in the hair that you got. Take pride in your beards. Because it grows towards the sun and the sun feeds us. And you need it. Period.